Hey guys, we're back at this, yo. We're just trying to get back to our community right now. We want to cut here for the homeless. We want to not just like, we want to bring awareness to this. We just want to help them out. We want to build relationships inside of our community where we're not just doing this for the views or for, for eyes or for people just to look at us, but we want to give back to the community. So that's why we're out here. So we're just here with Kevin. He's the one actually cutting hair. He's a barber. Yeah, so yeah, we're out here in the city right now. Uh, we're not doing this for attention. We're doing this to inspire others, yeah. inspire other young people, especially barbers, and we do good for the community. And you know, let's make it happen. Goodness and compassion. At the cross, you made us free. How old are you, bro? 28. 28? When's your birthday? Uh, actually, February 9th. Coming up. February. Oh, it's coming up. You have a lot of you have friends around here, or like you know people that you associate with. I come out here. Uh, I don't know nobody when I come out. You brought me out here with 710 Ashbury Street. I don't know if you know about Hate Ashbury. I did 11 and a half months locked up. Uh, I got out of jail. It's been well, 17 months ago. Uh, eight days later, I left home with a half a pack of cigarettes, a bag of clothes, my toy, my hammock, my bus tickets. I went out to Colorado. Best decision I ever made. So I went out there and I. Well, I ended up in Boulder, sure. end up finding purpose in life, just knowing I can wake up and make a difference in somebody's life every day. Right. So when I wake up every day, you know, I'm gonna be, even though I may not have much, but yeah. I'm able to provide and give back just like you all. You, know, wow. like, you never know something so, so small can make such a big difference so in somebody's so life. Yeah. life. How do you usually do your hair, bro? Uh, normally like, it's like shorter on the sides and yeah. we're all blended. It's weird to lay down behind my ears. And, uh, I, Kevin, you just do you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, for all you've done for us. Don't need another reason. Uh, as a young person, what was your, what was your biggest goal? Uh, when I was younger, I wanted to always want to be a teacher. What was your favorite uh, subject in math? Is there one thing about your life you would say you would want to go back and change? Honestly, I had, the only thing I regret is what, I mean, I was a shithead back in the day, I ain't gonna lie. I allowed addiction to gambling, like yeah. putting, prioritizing shit that wasn't the way of life. Before what was truly important is the reason I haven't been the father of my daughter. But now, like, I feel like in life you gotta find reason and purpose. You know, my reason is my child. I wake up every day knowing I can better myself. For that little girl, like, it's all key to pave a path for my child. You have and a son father. or a daughter? Yeah, huh? I have a daughter. Oh, daughter. Four year old brown hair, brown eyed beauty looks just like me. What's the last thing you saw? February 17, 2018. 2018. Uh, but, damn, my baby mom, all I just gotta do is get my shit together in this, these past 17 months. Like, I've grown and truly have grounded and finally uh, found purpose in my life. You know, like, it's been my dream job. Yeah. Really, I like my life right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I aspire to be a life coach. Uh, yeah, I see myself yeah. being able to make a difference. Yeah, and you will, I believe you still. I do, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like you are. Yeah. Like I'm out here selling drinks and chips a lot, yeah. but like I never, one thing about it when I'm able to be going out here and being able to look and sell chips, it allows me to help you, know what I'm like, I won't ever let money prevent somebody from eating or drinking like this. Yeah. Man, like, look at all these people. You know, like, everybody's got a story. Like, but just to see, you we got people out here working 40 hours a week, and still can't even. Yeah, I did when the pandemic first started. I didn't know uh, what way I could make money. Everybody always needs a haircut. Yeah, <laughs> Honestly, when I started, I didn't think I didn't think it would get to the point where I wanted to do good for the community. But you know, with great friends around, and hey, that's happen. what it takes. You're only as good as the top five people. 
surround yourself with. Yeah. What's the name of your nonprofit? It's called Youth Uprise Program. And it's, it's mostly based around just young people. I want to start a nonprofit with my hippie mom's honor called the Mama A Foundation. Really? So, like, I have a few different projects I want to incorporate within the nonprofit as a whole. Like, one, one of which being hammocks for homeless. Oh, wow. Like, put together care packages and yeah, put the hammock. Yeah. You can always have, have a bed on the go. All you need is two trees. <laughs> just fine. I didn't go through everything that you went through and everything, but I just remember when COVID hit, it was like, I remember I was alone and, you know, we were kind of like isolated from COVID. That's when I realized that, you know, um, I started believing more in God. I started believing in what I read and, and I seen everything that he was doing in me. Like, I remember, like, my parents got divorced at a young age. I went through a lot of stuff when I was young and, and just remembering that he was always there for me. And even though I didn't know it in the moment, I recognize that like, he was always there for me. That you know, there was times in my life where I didn't feel loved, or I didn't feel like I felt lonely. But you know, just remembering that he was always there with me. You know, like, I grew up in a Christian household. Yeah. Like, like you, I went to church every Sunday, and Wednesday, but Christianity kind of pushed me away. Not one person is better than the next. You know what I'm we're all equal and we're all people. Yeah. People just need to simply just love one another and just show kindness and compassion, where it'll be a lot better place. For me, bro, like. You know, people always fail you, bro. Like, they will always judge you, you know, but like, I learned that God, like, you know, even though I did all these things, he was like, I still love you, you know? Like, you failed me so many times, but I still love you. And, you know, I realized, you know, I could, I, I mean, I still strive to do my best every day, you know, make an impact, you know, but I realized I'm always gonna fall short, you know? I'm never gonna be perfect, you know? And I realized that I'm not gonna make it to heaven by how good of a person I am, you know, but I'm gonna make it to if I make it to heaven, it's because of God's grace, you know, and His love for me, you know? Well, your daughter's just proud of you, bro. I tell her my daughter a picture every day, and I write to her every single day that way. Yeah. I mean, I just, it's on me to get my shit together, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what I've been doing lately. Like, I was not the person I once was three, four years ago. Where do you see yourself in five years? Where do I see myself in five years? On Ellen? Ellen? No. <laughs> hey, bro, believe you know, it, bro. Now, how do you know? I live, bro. Look, I had to, I ain't gonna lie, I had these five crazy asterisks. So I got the name Geo Go. Geo Go stands for Garcia, Ella, Oprah. Grace of all time. I got to choose way like Jerry, and I need Oprah's money so I can be like Ella. Look for Goat. Hey, yeah, you'll be on Ellen, and you'll be telling your testimony, you'll be telling everything about you, bro. Hey, what do you like to start here? You know what? You're the first person I've ever let cut my hair besides my grandmother. For real? <laughs> my grandmother has cut my hair all my life. Oh, yeah, that's where it got. Tyler, Father, I just come praying, Father, because I know, Father, that he has a good heart, Father. I know, Father, that many times people fail you, Father, but I know, Father, that you have seen Tyler, Father, and you know him, everything that he's done in his life, Father, and you know who he is, Father. So I just come praying, Father, that you encounter him, Father, and that you show him your love for him, Father. And I just pray for his family, Father, for his daughter, Father, and I just pray, Father, that he sees his daughter soon, Father, and I just pray, Father, that, that his dreams that he has, Father, that they come true, Father. And I know, Father, that if we believe, Father, and if we trust in you, Father, those things will come true, Father. So I just come praying over Tyler's life, Father. And I know he'll make an impact on so many people's lives, Father. So I just pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.